everyone welcome to skills build training youtube channel i am sanya and this channel is all about showing you that how to become an it pro fast in today's video we will discuss 15 things you should do after installing kubuntu 21.04 as you know after installing any operating system you need to add and customize utilities according to your needs and taste to perform better kubuntu has become one of the most highly regarded linux distributions with millions of users around the world so let's get started with the 15 most important things you should do after installing kubuntu 21.04 the first thing I'm going to do is update your system. Whenever you install a new operating system, the first and foremost important thing is that you need to update and upgrade your system. It will avoid and keep the system away from bugs and issues, so you will not have to compromise on the performance of your system. So to update your system, press Ctrl plus Alt plus T to open your console. Here you need to write sudo apt update and then hit enter it will ask for your pseudo password as you can see all the packages are updated if there is any package not updated yet then write sudo apt upgrade and then hit enter it will upgrade all the packages that have not upgraded yet now the next thing i'm going to do is adjust setting of your default browser here you can see Firefox is the default browser, but you can change it a bit according to your needs. So go to the menu option. From here, go to the settings option. Here you can see different panels, general home, search, privacy and security and sync panel. You need to check this box. It will restore previous session. Now in tab section, you need to select this box. Open links in tabs instead of new windows. Now coming towards down. You need to check this box. It will check your spellings as you type. Scroll down. You need to check this box. Digital Rights Management, DRM Content. DRM system inside browsers are the content decryption module. The CDM works by receiving the content keys from the remote DRM license server. The content decryption module then uses the content access to decode encrypted videos for playback. So, Firefox download and enable the CDM on demand with user permission to give the user a smooth experience on sites that requires DRM. Now coming towards the home panel, here you can see Firefox is the default browser. Now coming towards the search panel, here you can see two different options. Use the address bar for search and navigation and add search bar in toolbar. I'm going to check this box. Now from here you need to check this box. It will provide search suggestion. Now going to the privacy and security, this is where you can control settings for the Firefox enhanced tracking protection and do not track features, manage website cookies, website data storage. Well, the next option is sync. This panel lets you set up or manage a Firefox account which is needed to access certain Mozilla services including sync. The next thing I'm going to do is explore discover. Here you can see on the left side there are different categories of applications and on the right side there are different applications you can either install them or you can remove them from these different categories let's suppose i'm going to click on game category here you can see different games are here you can install them and there are different kinds of game their types like card games board games puzzles role playing and many many more this utility is actually an amazing utility. It will save your time and give you a lot of options to install packages and applications that you need the most. Now coming down, here you can see all the applications that are already installed in your system and now in the update section. Here you can see the applications you need to update. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is installing Synaptic Package Manager. As you know that Kubuntu 21.04 has a built-in package manager that we have discovered right now, that is Discover. It is a user-friendly and easy-to-use package manager, but unfortunately, it is very slow and does not contain all the packages you need. So that is why we are going to install Synaptic Package Manager. So in order to install Synaptic Package Manager, you need to open your terminal by pressing Ctrl plus alt plus t before installing synaptic package manager let's see how synaptic package manager works synaptic package manager is a graphical package management tool based on apt it enables you to install update and remove packages in a user-friendly graphical user interface so to install it 
you need to write sudo apt install synaptic and then hit enter it will ask for your sudo password here you can see synaptic package manager has been installed now close this window and go to application launcher now search here for synaptic package manager it will ask for your sudo password okay and here you can see this is the interface of synaptic package manager on the left you can see all the applications and you can also search for application to install for example i'm going to search for chromium here you can see all the packages related to chromium it will give you each and every single detail about the package now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to install my favorite browser you can also install your favorite web browser the browser i'm going to install is chromium to install chromium go to application launcher and search here for synaptic package manager here I'll search for Chromium. Here you can see all the packages related to Chromium and here I can see the option Chromium browser. You need to check this and mark for reinstallation as I have already installed it. But let me show you the method that how can you install an application from Synaptic Package Manager. So mark for reinstallation. Apply. Apply. Chromium is an open source code base for a web browser principally developed and maintained by Google. Google uses the code to make its Chrome browser which has additional features. As you can see it has been installed. So close it and go to the application launcher and search here for Chromium. Here you can see Chromium has been installed. So that is how you can install any application using Synaptic Package Manager. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is apply night color. As you know, the dark mode is a user interface design aspect that turns the background of applications and devices that traditionally have a light color shade to a dark color shade. Ranging from gray to black, this reduces the surface area of the direct blue white light emission to text and other graphical components, thus reducing the stress on the eye during usage and arguably making the test more readable go to system settings now here search for display and monitor and here you can see the option night color activate night color you can also change it you can decrease it and increase it according to your needs and here you can also change the activation time well i have set the always on value and then apply now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to install drivers as you know device drivers are essential for a computer system to work correctly because without a device driver the particular hardware fails to work accordingly so in order to install driver go to application launcher and search here for synaptic package manager it will ask for your pseudo password now search here for Kubuntu driver and hit enter here you can see Kubuntu driver manager check this box as I have already installed it so mark for reinstallation apply apply and it will take some time now close it and go to application launcher and search for driver manager here you can see driver manager has been installed successfully. The next thing I'm going to do is session settings. Sometimes we leave the terminal and sometimes we need to open it again. It will restart with all the previous sessions and in my case sometimes I don't need those applications that I have opened previously. Also it reduces the speed of the system. So to avoid this issue we can certainly change the session settings. So go to system settings. Now search here for session. Here you can see desktop session. Now here you can see different options like you want to check this box or this like confirm logout or offer shutdown options. I always go with the offer shutdown options. Now here you can see the default leave option, end current session, restart computer, turn off computer and now when logging in, Restore previous saved session, restore manually saved session, start with an MPT session. So you should always go with start with an MPT session. And here, end current session. 
and then apply it. So now whenever you start the system, it will begin with an empty session. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to configure Dolphin. Now if I talk about my favorite file manager system, then Dolphin is my favorite file manager. It is very easy to use. It is already better, but you can make it much more as it has many, many features. So here on the left side, you can see all the shortcuts. It is too easy to add shortcut here. For example, if I want to add the music shortcut here, simply pick it and then place it. Here you can see all the recent file and recent locations. Here you can search for documents, image, audio and video. Well, go to the menu option and here go to the configure dolphin. Now here you can see different options, behavior, previous confirmations and status bar. Here you need to check this box. Remember display style for each folder instead of using a common display style for every folder. From here you can select sorting mode. Well, I'll go with the alphabetical case in sensitive mode. Apply it. As you can see, I have selected the option to have different folder views for different folders. For example, I have an icon view here in home directory. But if I add some documents in the document or download folder, they will be in list view. But still, on my home directory, they will be in icon view. So this facility is fantastic when you have many, many folders. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up firewall. As you know that security in Linux environment is managed through the UFW and complicated firewall allowing us to configure rules to allow or not enter packets or connections to the system. UFW is a default firewall for Kubuntu. It is a highly reliable firewall. UFW is disabled by default on Kubuntu system as it protects our system. Therefore, it is essential to enable it. Now to enable it, open your terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T and here you need to write sudo ufw enable and then hit enter. It will ask for your sudo password. Here you can see firewall is active and enabled on system startup. For security reasons, it is recommended to leave the firewall active in Kubuntu but some tasks may require it to be temporarily disabled. So to disable firewall, write sudo ufw disable and then hit enter as you can see firewall stopped and disabled on system startup the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to install java java jdk is a set of utilities with which the functions already typical of java are notably increased this is ideal for creating and developing applications websites and everything that is based on java so to install default jdk open your terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T and here you need to write sudo apt install default hyphen jdk and then hit enter. It will ask for your sudo password. As you can see, Java has been installed. If you want to check its version, you can also check it. You need to write java double hyphen version and then hit enter. Now here you can see Java JDK version is 11.0.11. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install TLP Linux for battery improvement. TLP saves laptop battery power on Linux without the need to understand every technical detail. TLP comes with a default configuration already optimized for battery life, so you may just install and forget it. Now to install the TLP power management tool from Ubuntu Linux system. You need to open your terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T and here you need to write sudo add hyphen apt hyphen repository space ppa colon lintrunner slash tlp hyphen beta and then hit enter. It will ask for your sudo password. You need to press enter in order to continue. Now you need to write sudo apt update and then hit enter. Now finally to install tlp write sudo apt install tlp and then hit enter. As you can see tlp has been installed. Let me create this screen because I am again going to use the terminal because I'm going to install multimedia codecs. By default, Ubuntu and its flavor like Kubuntu, Xubuntu, and Lubuntu don't come with all default media codecs due to legal issue, but we can easily install it via a terminal. So you need to write sudo 
apt update hit enter now you need to write sudo apt install ubuntu hyphen restricted hyphen extras and then hit enter once installed you will be able to play almost all format and if something missing then try installing universal player vlc by running the following command sudo apt install vlc and then hit enter the next thing i'm going to do is after updating and upgrading and installing different applications on your system you should clean it so for that we will open our terminal now if you want to clean partial packages then write sudo apt auto clean and then hit enter it will ask for your sudo password it will clean partial packages now if you are looking to clean up your cache then write sudo apt clean and then hit enter it will clean your cache and all the packages so the last thing and one of my favorite thing that i'm going to do is customization if you need to work on a system you should customize it according to your taste so you can sit for hours and hours in front of your system now right click on the desktop here you can see configure desktop and wallpaper here you can see you have different wallpapers and you can also get new wallpapers you can also add images into it here i'll search for add images and from here i'll go in the picture section and i'm going to add this image i'm going to select it and then apply here you can see i have changed my desktop wallpaper now go to the system settings here in the appearance section you can see global themes you can also get new global themes for example i'm going to search about harmony here you can see i have already installed one simply you need to click on this button and you can install it well i have already installed it so close it and i have already selected it now go to the plasma style here you can see you can also get new plasma style you can also search about them well i'll go with the oxygen and apply now colors here you can see different colors you can also get new color scheme well i'll go with breeze dark apply now in icons you can search for different icons i'm going to search for candy icons candy 3d original i'm going to install it it will take some time use close here you can see all other icons well i'm going to select this and i have already applied it now go to the splash screen now to the splash screen i'll go with breeze and then apply you can also customize your panel right click on it here you can see you can add it panel you can add widgets on the panel you can also configure icons so that's it for today i hope you have enjoyed this video and it helped you to do things that you should do after installing kubuntu 21.04 if you need any help reach out to us in the comments below if you like this video then give it a thumbs up if you have not subscribed to our channel yet then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can get notifications of our upcoming videos i'll see you in the next video